So it's been a little while since I've been able to do anything with the uh, MCI bus and hopefully this uh, this season I'll be able to um, do some engine repairs to it because it really makes um, quite a cumulus cloud of smoke um, every time it, it runs it's got a lot of oil coming out of the airbox as well which is not a good sign uh, so it's got some internal leakage there um, so trying to motivate myself to uh, make the engine repair and uh, add a little bit of benefit to it I decided to order some parts which I got a couple boxes here that came in today actually three boxes those came in from lead diesel in Pennsylvania and let's uh, open them up and and see what we got okay uh, so in this box here got a couple of valve covers now these are tall valve covers and what do you need tall valve covers for for Jake brake let's uh, open up the other box and see what's in there all right so this one I got all the special hardware and some of the Jake uh, devices, uh, head, whatever you call this, itself. Um, let's see, there's a bunch of those in here. I think that's mostly what's in here. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got one more box. Let's go ahead and get that thing open and see what the, that one consists of. Okay, uh, so we got gaskets, new gaskets for the valve covers. We have bridges, which um, these are supposed to be for a 71 series engine, because they are different from the uh, 92s. I don't, I don't remember what the part number is, but these guys are, they know their stuff, so I'm trusting they sent the correct stuff. Uh, we have fuel lines. Uh, oh, these are uh, bolts for the long valve cover. Oh, sol solenoids. Uh, the box says 12 huh. oh no they've been relabeled so the box says 12 volts but um, but it, it was handwritten 24 volts so we got 24 volt solenoids uh, I think these are like some type of gasket for the top of the valve cover these things here uh, some wiring harnesses here. More fuel lines. Washers uh, for valve covers. Um, so I think we have, I don't know, I have to look. There's little connections that uh, connect the... Um, uh, the Jake with the solenoid to the drone sol um, yeah they connect the Jake with the solenoid to the the drone Jake because uh, it only uses four cylinder uh, four solenoids in an eight cylinder application because the um, a couple of these are controlled off of one with a solenoid. But we'll see. We'll see what, uh, you know, once we get everything unwrapped, um, 
if there's anything else we might need. Oh, I think uh, that little part there might be might be the uh, screw that connects them, or the little tube that connects them. So yeah, uh, in the the bus, you know, I think um, it's going to be beneficial to have the uh, Jake brakes in it, and. Uh, so this is good. I'm waiting on one more part, which is a buffer switch. And you can't just use regular on-off style buffer switch. You have to use a switch that is made for use with the uh, fast idle system that the buses have. I um, was able to find one of those at another place. And uh, that is on the way. Hopefully that'll get here. Well, hopefully it'll get here. It doesn't matter... Uh, if it's soon or not because it's going to be a little while before I can start um, installing any of this kit but it's exciting I, I think it's going to be a benefit to the bus to have the Jake brake on it uh, especially if we get traveling in the mountains I kind of live in the mountains and there are some steep hills around here so I think it'll be nice to have uh, anyway that's it that's my current update for the bus is uh, parts to install a Jake brake